Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is doing a makeup tutorial using all of my favorite makeup products from 2021. So if you wanna see this very simple, very much me everyday makeup look using my favorite 2021 products, then just keep on watching. Let's get started with base. I wanted to use my Note BB Cream in 01 because that 100% has been my most used base product throughout 2021, but it's all up. That's how much I used it. So Note BB Cream, you are number one. But a close number two was my NARS Tinted Moisturizer. I tend to mix Myknos and Norwich together. Norwich when I have no fake tan and Myknos when I do have fake tan. So when I'm in that in-between, I just mix them. For any extra coverage, I absolutely loved the Hourglass Vanish Concealer in cotton. I did also enjoy it under my eyes, but I would say it wasn't my favorite under my eyes. I preferred it more in blemishes or any scarring that needed a little extra coverage. Really enjoyed this concealer this past year. Under my eyes, I had to use the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Concealer in Fair 1W. Also love the dark one to contour with, but I would have to say this one would be the number one for under my eyes. Moving on to setting powder, I really enjoyed the Huda Beauty, what is it called? It's like the baking, bacon glow? No. Anyways, I wanted to give a honorable mention to the Rimmel Stay Matte. It's iconic. Ever since high school, I've been such a fan. It was like my holy grail being an oily skin girl, and this was like my only option. But I almost didn't need another option because it was so good. So I'm just going to lightly dust my face, and this is going to keep everything in place. You can't go wrong with it. You really can't. It's such a good one. I have a powder bronzer and a cream bronzer favorite. The cream being the Huda Beauty Tantour and Fair 100% was the number one this past year. Absolutely loved it. Not even close to hitting pan. A very valiant effort, but not close. I'm going to take it on a sponge that I'm actually trialing for Pearl Beauty. It's an interesting shape and I'm absolutely obsessed because this little weird tip part literally fits the socket of your eyes. So good. I didn't use it for my concealer, but it's really good for concealer, but I'm going to use it for bronzer today. So take the back end of it. Little goes a long way with this stuff. I've mentioned it numerous times. I think this is the lightest shade in the Tantour and it's quite dark. So be wary of that. Such a nice cream bronzer, blends in like a dream. Absolutely love that one. Moving on to my powder favorite, powder bronzer favorite, the airbrush bronzer in two from Charlotte Tilbury. Again, I don't think I'll ever hit pan. It is massive. This is like half the size of my face. I'm going to take it on just a fluffy brush and pat it over the cream bronzer just to set it in place. And it's basically the perfect match. So if you have Tantour and you want a powder bronzer to kind of set it or just match it, this is a really great match. Obviously for blush, Pearl Beauty multi-purpose lip and face sticks were the number one. I showed my bag because I keep the core four in here. I'm going to take I think put together and girl next door today because I want a nice rosy pop of pink. So I'm going to start with put together a little bit higher on my cheeks because it's a little bit darker and then girl next door. Oh, love the shade right on the center of the apple of my cheek to really pop it. So good. Gives a nice healthy dewy finish. I normally probably wouldn't put highlighter on but I still need a category and my favorite cream highlighter is the MAC skin base in Hush and I also love Shell. Hush is a little bit more of a flesh tone so I'm just going to pop it right at the tops of my cheek there and it's just a subtle glow. You know I feel like we're kind of moving away from those intense powder highlighters and just into more of a natural glow finish so <laughs> I have to tilt my head when I do that. So this is the perfect product to do that. So really pretty on the eyes. For brows, the most used brow gel was my Chestnut Bare Minerals Brow Gel. Just gives a nice tint. I do have microblading that's now over a year old, but it's still very much there. So this just warms up the hairs because mine naturally pull a little bit cool. So this just warms them up, gives a little bit of shape and color. As you guys know, I'm not a massive eyeshadow wearer. I just don't really wear a lot on an everyday basis unless it's an occasion, but these little shadow sticks from Vive, 
I'm obsessed with. I bought two of them. This is in the shade Camel. I also like the vanilla one, but Camel's really beautiful on its own. It's a little bit of a newer one, but I wanted to include in the eyeshadow category and cream eyeshadow sticks are definitely my go-to. Now, when it comes to eyeliner, I had a couple favorite ones. Definitely a cream, not a cream, like a pencil style liner was my favorite style this year, not a liquid, which it would have been in the past, but I really played around with the liner as in the color. Uh, really love the L'Oreal Le Liners, really a big fan of those. Also love the Mineralist eyeliners from Bare Minerals. I also really love um, Code 8. I had two Code 8 ones that I wanted to include. It was like a brown one that I used all the time in the summer and it's gone at the moment. I can't find it, but I used it a lot. I'm gonna pick one of the liners just because I really enjoy it. This is the shade Rouge Noir, so it has a little bit more of an aubergine or eggplant, <laughs> uh, dark plummy purple shade, and it's beautiful. I also love the navy and obviously the black, but these from the drugstore are really good. Fun pop of color also really looks good with this green, purple and green. This has to be one of my favorite purchases of 2021, the Tweezerman Lash Curler. It is so stinking good. Honestly, if you want an extra lash lift, you need to get one of these. Also, UK Lash Serum, it's now been a year of me using it and I cannot recommend it enough. I think I've only bought three in a year and I think if you get them on sale, they're like in and around 30. My foot's going to sleep here. Ooh. Um, in and around 30 or 35 pounds, so worth it. My lashes are so long from it. The mascara of the year I've chosen, which was very close tie with Lash Sophisticate, is a newer one, but it is incredible. I cannot stop raving about it. It's the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara, and it does just that. My lashes are insanely long from using this, and it does not smudge, flake, or move. It's perfect. That is one coat of the mascara, and I always go in with another one. Also, maybe in 2022, I'll get better at applying because I always get it all over my lid. Just wait till it's dry, and then you can rub it off, no problem. It's insane. I'm obsessed with it. I'm gonna do another coat once this one dries down a little bit, but we'll move on to lips, which without a doubt, iconic nude from Charlotte Tilbury lip liner was the number one. You can tell with how little the actual lip liner is, and this is my second one. It's my favorite. I wear it all the time and I can't get enough of it. And then for lipstick, the duo that is Sweet Cheeks and Empress Mixed is so beautiful. I either wore one of them on their own or mixed them all the time for a good chunk this year. And the formula is just so moisturizing, but nourishing and not too glossy. It's just like a perfect creamy color. I'm obsessed. Okay, to finish this off, we're gonna use the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. I love the bronze one and the original. The bronze one is completely gone, and obviously I'm almost done the original one. I really fell in love with setting sprays this year, and this one always just gave me a lovely finish. Even though it has a slight glitter in it, it never got stuck in any pores or anything. You can always buff it out with a sponge if it, you know, splat a little funny, which it might because it's at the very end of its life here. I loved it. I will repurchase both again. It just gave the most beautiful finish that was so healthy and glowy and it's just incredible. One of my favorite things to do while that's drying is taking my setting powder of choice, a little bit of the sponge, and then going right on the areas that get really oily throughout the day. And this kind of just locks in the pores for a little bit longer so I don't have to touch up as much. Always a little trick I do with the setting spray while it's wet. Okay, this is the final look using products that I absolutely adored. I feel like I said absolutely a lot in this video, but I really just love these products throughout 2021. Let me know your favorites in the comments below. I hope you all have a wonderful New Year's Eve and New Year, and I'll see you in 2022. Bye!